Well, I got my first mowing of the season out of the way. The front, anyway. Looks pretty good. But, uh, I broke my lawnmower. Let's go see what happened. I got done with the front, and I was coming over to the back. As you can tell, look at all the wild onion growing right there. I come around this corner. I went around my AC unit. You just spray those with weed killer all this broad leaf weeds going bye bye as you can see you can see my path with the mower come around here I didn't see it oh man it's just it's stuck on this piece of I hit it just right and look how the blade caught this and just peeled it back like a corkscrew. I did not see this in the ground. I mean, I don't know how I didn't see it, but that gum and I hit it hard. And I broke some stuff on my mower, so let's go see the damage. Boy, we are fixing to get it, boy. So when I hit that piece of fence post, it uh, I immediately felt a vibration. So I stopped and I backed up and got that piece of stuff out of the blades and the blade adapter grenaded. Here's the center piece here that's right here. This is all one piece. This is the new ones, but let me show you even on this old one that's still in that looks like it's in good shape there's a ridge that goes all the way around right here that will get chattered off and then let me see if I can get a close-up of it that little ridge right there microscopic ridge will make or break the uh, longevity of your spindle bearings right here that little ridge when you put this up on here, catches the inner part of the race of the bearing, so it makes it stand off that bearing just a little bit. And when this wears off, you're going to be having a, a large flat surface go all the way across the bearing, and you could possibly burn that seal out. So we're going to go ahead and replace both of these. I got some blades coming. They'll be here tomorrow, and. Uh, Hopefully, if it don't rain too much, we're going to finish cutting this grass. But uh, you may be asking yourself, Mower Medic, why do you have a, an old junky Murray lawnmower? Well, man, let me tell you. For the money and the parts are dirt cheap. And you can, I mean, one-handed belt changes. You don't need a whole bunch of tools to work on a Murray mower. Plus, I don't have a bunch of trees or shrubs and stuff. I just go back and forth. Really, I wish I had a 50 inch rather than just a 42, but for 200 bucks and a carb job, a couple of blade spindles, man, can't beat it. But uh, I used to have a Yazoo Keys 40, uh, 48 inch, and um, it was a zero turn. It had an 18 horse Kawasaki, and it was way underpowered uh, for its time. But uh, heck, that was 10, 15 years ago when I had that. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good day. More Medic One. Woo! Told y'all it was going to rain.